Okay, what you want to do is take your paper and fold it and once and fold it again. So you end up with four sections. Okay, so you took your paper, you folded it this way and this way, now you have four little sections. Then you're going to take your scissors and put your finger on the fold. Hold your fold here. Everybody find your fold. Wherever the fold is. If you can stick your fingertips in your paper to the right side, that's what you want. Left side is the fold. And there's a fold underneath here that's all folded. I can put my finger all the way here. I can cut any way I want starting in the corner and I can make any kind of shape out of this that I want. I don't want to cut too much of it away. After you did that, don't do it yet, you open this up, now you have four sections and you have some kind of a shape, whatever it happened to be. Then you take your drawing pencil, and you need this pencil because it works better with the popsicle sticks. Uh, best thing to do is probably just take this and fold it so you don't see anything else but this. Then you decide what kind of pattern you're going to put. It can be any repeat type thing that you want. I'm going to do more than just um, lines. I'm going to put shapes on there. But I'm going to do this, whatever I repeat, you know, I need to do some kind of repetition. And maybe I want to go here. Maybe I want to do this. I look at that and I go, okay, I have this stuff here. I have this. Uh, I can go back to some curved. But now I better get some circles in here someplace. So I kind of repeated that. Not quite the same, but almost. Uh, then I need some zigzag lines. I don't have to do as much as I did here. And I want the zigzag to bounce around so I notice I don't have it over here. And then I have a little space over here I have to take care of. And once you start, if it's curves or it's wavy or if it's all zigzag, Whatever you start to pick, just repeat it. Um, and that can be, you know, not just what I did. Okay, then what you want to do here is open this up. You're going to flip it like this. You're going to take your popsicle stick and you're going to go like this. Only on that spot. And if I'm going like this, it's not going to do anything. I'm going to peek now and see, did I get most of my stuff? Oh, I look, notice it's a little weak in there. Can't quite see it, so then I'm going to go do that. Check. Okay, it's getting a little better. Here it's a little bit where I don't know what I'm going to trace. Then I open it up. Okay, on the edge. And then you get the idea. Then what you're going to do is this. You're going to go over here and trace whatever it was that you did because you are doing a symmetrical design. I'm not going to have you sit and watch me trace this whole thing. You get the idea. Then you're going to put this down this way and go like this and transfer it. I'll just do that a little bit so you get the idea. So that transferred to that corner. Hard to see, but I can see it. Then I'm going to draw this whole thing here, and then I'm going to go this way. The reason you want to go from what here, this went over here, a lot of this graphite transferred here. If I go down here and try it again, it's going to be more blurry and I won't get that transfer nice. So that's why you go from this down to here and then you're going to flip it over here. Um, now you have to pick a color scheme. On the back of your paper, go in the middle because you're not going to cut that away anyway. Take a number two pencil, something that doesn't smear. Uh, don't take this drawing pencil right now, but flip your paper over on the back. You're going to write red and green. Okay, you can start writing that. Put it on the back of this. You didn't cut it yet. That's okay. Uh, mine's cut, so I know where to write it, but you're not going to cut towards the middle anyway. Red, green, or yellow, and purple, or blue and orange. 
those are complementary colors so this is a set that's a set and that's a set so red and green put red and green yellow and purple blue and orange so later when you're all done tracing if you pick your favorite color out of here if it's purple you're stuck with doing yellow whether you like it or not if you hate those don't use them you like a blue then you have to have orange you're going to put <clears throat> say I'll take blue and orange right now I'm going to put blue orange over here I'm gonna put some blue I have to alternate the blue orange blue orange if you leave some white area like if I did here blue orange and blue left this white I can do that and I still have a complementary color scheme I won't count the background as part of it so you can have white spaces but this whole thing blue and orange this side has to look the same so if this circle is blue here this one has to be blue if this is orange this one has to be orange so you go all the way around your four sections are the same and then you'll be able to see the symmetry if you notice and you will in a minute this graphite smears a lot so what you want to do is after you've done tracing I just thought of this you still want to get this done trace this because otherwise it's not gonna work later you might want to fold your paper up like this as you're coloring then you're not touching this down here and getting that smudged on your hand this part isn't smudging all over I'm gonna give you a piece of scrap paper that you can put underneath this so it doesn't smudge on the table keep that scrap paper in your tray for all the time um, so that it's something that catches the dirty stuff that you're doing so this is symmetry and then you pick complementary colors to um, do your design 